a message to all you vegans out there. So if you're a new vegan or if you've been a vegan for less than a year, such as me, uh, you're going to come across a lot of people who uh, will automatically become a nutritionist or a doctor as soon as you tell them that you're a vegan or you're plant-based. If you are a vegan, I've got like three simple tips for new vegans so that you just have these in your back pocket because as a vegan, you know you're going to be questioned and people are going to have opinions and... It, you know, things can get really murky, really fast, and really muddy, and really crazy. So, uh, I'm just going to give you some three tips. So, here we go. So, first tip would just be is to know your basic knowledge. The, and the easiest way to debunk any of this, like, nutritional deficiency bullcrap that people think, uh, which, again, a lot of people just don't know. You know, some people are going to get very defensive and entrench their heels into, you know, into the sand. And we'll, we'll get into that topic here in a bit. But just know the basics is what I always, rec is, you know, what I recommend. Know the basics in regards to nutrition. Know that a vegan diet can provide all the nutrients the body needs at all stages of life. Through If you're a woman, going through pregnancy, for childhood, all the way up to adulthood, to extreme athletes to the sedentary person, to the obese person, to the diabetic person, it doesn't matter. Vegan diets are sustainable through all stages and for all people. This whole crap that certain people are meant to eat, you know, meat or whatever, that's a load of shit. That is a bunch of bull crap. Please find me that individual and please turn them into the government because he has transformed or she has transformed into a carnivore. And now we, we this is a specimen. This is a, a breakthrough in sign, you know, in the, the human anatomy. We, we need to investigate this and how did this happen because we, we've got the first human carnivore. That'd be incredible. So uh, if anyone ever says anything in regards to like protein or some stupid shit like that or iron or calcium or whatever, all of that can be found in plant sources in abundance. So it, it's not an issue at all. You don't, most people don't know how much protein they need a day. So you don't even have to get into like, the numbers, if you want to, you may come across someone who knows a little bit more, then you know, then you can get into the details if you know about that. The way to end all this de debacle or controversy in regards to deficiencies when following a whole foods plant-based diet or a vegan diet is ask just a simple, a very simple question. Okay, what is the magical nutrient that is found in animal products that cannot be found in plants? The answer is there is none. There is none. Nothing. And if they bring up, again, if they bring up B12, they need to go back and do the research because that's not true. That is absolutely not true. So I'm not even gonna address that. I'm not even gonna address it. So it's not true. All nutrients can be found from plants. The shit that we need to eat meat is absolutely untrue. So just know that. And then on top of that, also know, I would also recommend that you just know a little bit in regards to the morality of everything and the, the ethical portion of everything. Since it's not necessary to consume animals, why are we doing it? It's obviously we're doing it because tradition, convenience, it's pleasure, all that stuff. That's why ha habitual, you know, it's habits. So that's why people do it. it it'll do good to vegans if they just know that, uh, if they just take a more understanding role that people don't like change. They unfortunately do not like change. But just know that uh, all this, all, to know the morality of why you as a vegan don't eat meat and why vegans around the planet, you know, millions of vegans around the planet do not eat animal flesh because it is immorally wrong because it is purely unnecessary. It is completely unnecessary because we can get all the nutrients we need from plants. So like that health and ethical issue kind of, you know, they bind in together along with the whole environmental issues that come up with that as well too. Know a little bit in regards to at least all three of that, the environmental aspects of it, the ethical aspects, and the health aspects of it. Those are the three reasons why to go vegan and why this planet, believe it or not, will have to eventually have to go vegan. It will. Either that or science will take over unless it's like lab-grown meat. Other than that, and if it's lab-grown meat, pff, fuck it, have at it, eat all the fucking lab grown meat. I mean, it's not good for you, but 
whatever. So tip number two I would recommend is to just be patient. Be patient. I understand all vegans, for the most part, we understand that this is an abomination, this is horrific what's happening, how animals are being exploited, how people are being exploited. All, I, we, I get it, you know, we get it. Uh, and it's, it's very easily, it's very easy to get very emotional and just explode on someone when they say something ignorant or they say something stupid and they're like entrenching their heels and all that stuff. But the best that you can do is just plant a seed, is what I say, just plant the seed, try to spread some information just try to spread some information and that's it. That's honestly, that's all you can do. Yes, it's wrong to, to kill animals even if they're raised the best environment with the free pasture and the, all this fairy tale land bullshit and the free range eggs and the free range happy cows with the free milk and the happy milk and all that bullshit. That's all a bunch of crap. Okay, these are, you're exploiting animals and at the end of the day, these animals are gonna get killed. They still have their babies ripped away from them. I mean, it's absolutely a horrific, horrific industry. Doesn't matter where they come from. You're exploiting, people are exploiting animals unnecessarily and then it's not even good for you on top of that. And on top of that, it's not good for the environment. I mean, everyone is losing when this happens, but the best we could do is try to take what I call the, uh, I guess like a Gandhi approach. Just try to be patient, be objective, just, but be patient, all right? Just, just try to spread the message and give good references. Give good references, not just documentaries and stuff like that, but actually have some studies to back up what you're saying. Even though people don't really give a shit about studies, people don't seem to read them because I've provided studies to people who claim to be scholarly and they don't read shit, but they just, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong, whatever, you know, they're just, I don't know, maybe they're just scam artists or something. All I'm saying is just to try to be patient, try to be a little bit more understanding with them objective but patient which leads me to tip number three is just be a good example okay know your knowledge be patient and be a good example be healthy okay you as a vegan unfortunately or fortunately have uh, ha you have your back against the wall okay you have your back against the wall because you have a bunch of people trying to sell their products and all their bullshit and they're trying to talk shit on you and people have their own personal bias because they want to hear good news about their bad habits you know people don't want to be wrong okay they don't want to know that they're uh paying tribute or paying homage to horrific industries or the unnecessary pain and suffering of animals and uh they they don't like to be told that what they're doing is immoral okay so there some people will try to justify everything they do by just protecting their ego. Unfortunately, that's what they're doing. They're just protecting their ego because they don't want to be proven wrong. They don't want to know that they're doing something wrong, unfortunately. So what I just say is just try to be a good example. Try to just spread more information. Be positive towards veganism. Spread as much information as you can. And you'll see that you'll you'll plant that seed and eventually, hopefully, it'll blossom. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't, I mean, what really can you do? If you scream at this individual and you go off on this person or some shit, you just let it all hang out. It's I mean, it's not. Is it really gonna change? Is it really gonna help this person? It might. Probably not. They just actually just trench. You know, they dig their heels into the sand and they don't move. You know, they're not gonna move. So the best that you could do is just try to be a good example. And the reason why I say that too is because it's not against the law. Unfortunately, it's not against the law. It's, it, the law is stupid. I agree. It's stupid. It's, it makes no sense. It's highly hypocritical. It's fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. But it's not against the law for these people to do this shit, unfortunately. So eventually this change will have to occur. Whether we want to or not, it will have to occur. So the best that we can do right now as a vegan or plant-based, whatever you wanna, whatever label you wanna give yourself, okay? Let's just be a good example. Try to be as good an example as you possibly can. Try to, if you can, if you can rescue an animal, try to rescue an animal, you know, things like that. Just be a good example. You know, create delicious meals, uh, invite people over to your house and ha feed them a, a, you know, a nice plant-based dinner or lunch or whatever. Show them that it, that it, is, it is possible. You know, and get, get in good shape is why I always say, yeah, get in good shape. People like, you know, are very visual. People are very aesthetics. People are very much aesthetics. It's a billion dollar, you know, a multi-billion dollar industry. You know, the diet, these diet industries and all this bull crap. Look at keto, look at keto. Bunch of bullshit, 
All of it. It's all horseshit. All based on weight loss. All this crap. When weight loss is just simply predicated on a caloric deficit, but yet they're it's hiding behind keto, or they're they're putting keto in front of a cal caloric deficit, and then saying it gives like cognitive benefits and all this bullshit. When there's no scientific studies to back up any of this horse shit. Okay, so. Be a good example, is what I say as a, as, a, as a vegan. Just try your best to be a good example. Keep yourself in shape. Create delicious meals. I know it's difficult. Try to be positive, even though you know the truth. But ho hopefully, this will help motivate and push people in the right direction. And that's all I've got. That is all I've got in this free flow video for the week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do you disagree with what I'm saying? Have you ever come across uh, meat eaters that have been very stubborn? Because I have, and it's it's uh, the it is it is frustrating. I will say it is frustrating, but uh, I give myself credit because I did not blow up. I did not blow up on a few meat eaters that I've come across. I've blown up before, and which, by the way, let me let me just throw this out there. I've noticed ever since I transitioned over to plant based or vegan, whatever, whatever label you want to give me. Um, I've been more patient for some reason. Don't know why it is, but I've, I've definitely been more patient. I'm not, I haven't been as explosive or I used to be very emotional. Not so much anymore. Maybe that's just coming with age, but it's only been like five months, I think, about five months now, five or six months. And I've noticed I've been more tolerable, more patient and not, just not as emotional, just more controlled. So let me know about your experience. Let me know if you have any extra tips. This is about all I've got to say in regards to this. I know this is a very, very touchy subject, but you know, it's a reality and it's something that we've got to deal with. And that's about it, guys. I hope you appreciate the video. You know who I am. I'm the Natural Hawks. If you could please do your boy a favor, you know what to do. Make sure to hit that like button if you're new to the channel. Make sure to subscribe so I can keep you updated on the weekly. I'm the Natural Hawks. I want to thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for the next one.